Hey you guys, it's Tanya. <laughs> What's going on? Um, as you can see by the background, I'm home. Well, I'm very happy about being home, but I'm only going to be here for a couple of days, so it is what it is. You got to take the little small um, thank yous from God in your life and be happy about them, and I am extremely happy. I am always blessed. I know that. So, um, anywho, oh, first thing, my hair. Um, today's hair is um, a wash and go but technically not a wash and go. Um, I had my hair in two strand twist this week and I basically undid the two strand twist and then I looked really cute but I went to bed that night and didn't do anything with my hair so it was a hot mess. So the next morning I got up and got in the shower and I did not wash my hair. I did not co-wash my hair. All I did was let water hit it and let water from the shower just pour down my hair and then um, I, I, you know, lightly squeezed the excess water out, put in some of my um, uh, Love Naturals leave-in, mixed it with my Not Today leave-in, and then I used my um, Love Naturals Smooth Operating Aloe Gel. So that's, that's what this look is today. Actually, this look is the next day, I just got in the shower again and lightly, lightly sprayed my hair with water and then wrung it out again and just added a little bit more gel and a little bit more of the leave-ins. So, yeah, this is a fake, once again, another one of my famous fake wash and goes. Okay, you guys, let me put these back where they go real quick. And then we will get to this video. Today's video is how to make your hair grow. Now, I did this video... I don't know, but I've done this video before. I'm sure I have. But um, I wanted to do another video just because, obviously, as the years progress, I've learned more about my hair and about other, pe other people's hair. And um, so I have more knowledge. But, you know, things change. So, um, yeah. And also, I know that everybody who's watching my channel has not watched all my videos, and I don't really expect you to. So sometimes it's cool just to revisit old topics with a, a new I guess you could say not spin, because nothing really changes, but just, you know, a new voice, a new look. So, you can see my hair, and you know that I have cut it like crazy. And um, remember I told you, I guess a couple of months ago, I want my hair to all be one length. Um, that's not a realistic goal, but I really don't care. <laughs> that's what I want. Um, the reason why I say it's not a realistic goal is because the top of, the top of my hair, so my crown area... Uh, number one, it, um, especially back here in the upstairs kitchen, which is my coarser um, hair that has less of a curl pattern, it grows slower up here. So that's the first issue. Um, the second issue is, is that my hair in the front up here is a lot finer and a lot delicate. So it's prone to breakage a lot quicker. Um, and I, sh I lose hairs in here a lot quicker. It's the strangest thing. So I don't know if that's going to be a situation of um, baldness as I get older. I don't know. Or if it's just hereditary because I know that my aunt's hair, all of them, which are my mother's sisters, are all thinning up here. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping I get my dad's side of the family in that, but I don't think I will because I can see that this hair is thinning out. But anyway, again, I'm digressing, so let's go back to the topic of this video. How to make your hair grow. You guys, there are basic, very basic rules for making your hair grow. Um, you can choose to do these, or you can choose not to. And if you choose not to, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna see growth. Let's put it that way. Your hair will be growing, but you're not gonna see growth. Um, if you listen to me, your hair will grow and you will see growth. Okay? Fair enough? Alright, let's get started. Um, Tanya's rule number one. Save and protect your ends. Okay? Keep your ends protected because your ends have been on your, have been on your head the longest and they're the most fragile and the most delicate. Um, that's just hair 101. You see me. My hair does not touch my collar and if it does touch my collar I usually have like a silk scarf 
or something that's silk or satin to protect my hair from touching my clothes. Hair, well, black hair. Black hair and cotton um, do not mix. They just don't mix. That cotton will pull the moisture from your hair, which will dry it out, which will make it prone to breakage. So every time your hair rubs against your shirt, t-shirt, dress shirt, jacket, sweatshirt, it's rubbing and it's breaking off. How many times have you walked past someone with a cotton shirt on and you've seen their hair, especially people with relaxers, and you've seen their hair all over their cotton, their white cotton shirt? It's because that cotton is pulling the moisture and then it's breaking it off. So if you are wearing a cotton shirt, your hair needs to be up and away from the shirt, protect it away from the shirt. So pin it up um, or keep, do something, wear it in a bun, pin it up something to keep that hair lifted from rubbing against your clothes and your jackets. Wool. Wool will tear up some hair, let me tell you. So that's the first rule. Keep your ends protected. And rule 1B, <laughs> don't let your hair rub against cotton and wool. Those products will cause dryage. Dryage. Will cause your hair to dry out and they will cause breakage. Okay, rule number two. So the first rule is protect your ends. The second rule is, in part with that, don't cut your hair every six weeks. I know we have been conditioned as relaxed people to get our hair trimmed every six weeks because this makes your hair grow. <sighs> That's so not true. Getting your hair trimmed does not make your hair grow. Getting your hair trimmed just gives your hair an even look which gives that appearance of thicker hair and if you have split ends getting your hair trimmed will cut out those split ends so the split ends don't split further up the hair shaft if you follow rule one you won't need to get your hair trimmed so if your ends are protected and they're not breaking off and they're not um, shedding and splitting because they're rubbing against your clothes and being handled, you will not need to trim your hair. So do not get your hair trimmed every six weeks. Okay? If you look at your ends, if your ends look good, meaning you don't see split ends, you don't see fairy knots, you don't see like thinning hair. So if you grab some hair and you start looking at it, if it all looks together, you don't see any split ends, no knots, um, the hair still looks thick from beginning to end, then you're good. You don't need a trim. It's only if you see those issues you need a trim, okay? All right, number three, which is also very important, number three, keep your hands out of your hair. Keep your hands out of your hair. Once you touch your hair in the morning to style it, leave it alone. Do not put your hands in your hair. Running your hands through your hair all day is what's going to um, contribute to snagging, split ends, and breakage. Um, your hand has products on it. You're touching things throughout the day. You're putting your fingers in there. You, if you have nails like I do, fake nails, sometimes the nails lift and so your hair can get caught on those nails. And then you snap it, you break it, you split it. People are like, well, Dad, Tanya, I only maybe snap or, you know, split with my nails one hair a day. Okay, so you just do one hair a day. By the end of the year, that's 365 hairs that you split. And I assure you, you're not doing just one hair a day. So keep your hands out of your hair. Just like you shouldn't put your hands all on your face all day. That's what causes you to get acne and all kinds of issues. Keep your hands out your hair. The less you are manipulating your hair, the less you are prone to damaging it. Thus for not letting it show growth. Now, our hair grows every day. If, if your hair didn't grow, why did you get relaxers every six weeks? Well, you got relaxers because your hair grew. And so you had to take care of that new growth so that it wouldn't break off. Your hair is growing every day. The problem is, again, is it retaining length. So just be patient. Hair grows at an average of a half inch. Yes, a half inch a month. That's for the average person. 
Some people, like my mother, it grow, it, it, and my friend Marsha, their hair grows an inch every month. They just have faster growth patterns. Some people, their hair grows a quarter of an inch every month. It is what it is. We all have different growth patterns. So you have got to be patient with your hair growth, okay? And also, you've got to take care of the hair growth, meaning you have to eat correctly. That's my last rule here. You have got to eat right in order for your hair to grow, okay? If you're not eating correctly, that could stop your hair growth. Let me tell you, this is a scientific fact. Your hair and your nails are the last things on your body to get nutrients, okay? That means whenever you put something in your mouth, so let's say, oh my goodness, I'm so hungry, I'm going to Chipotle. I get a burrito with all the toppings because I love Chipotle. No sour cream, that's, that's a Tanya thing, no sour cream. But anyway, no corn. I'm eating my burrito, mmm, yum, 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 it's so good, ugh, I'm stuffed. Okay, your body breaks down that food that you put into your body, okay? It's sending that food wherever it's needed in your body, for your blood, for your bones, for your skin, um, your organs. Guess what? All those other things are going to get those nutrients before your nails and your hair. Your nails and your hair get the leftovers. So if there's enough to go around, basically if you fed the kids and all the elderly people, well then your hair and nails get fed, the, the adults. But if the kids and the elderly people haven't been taken care of yet, guess what? Adults get no food. Your nails and your hair are the same way. So if you look at someone's nails and you see like, um, well, that, I'm not going to go there. But if you look at someone's nails and they just don't grow very long, they keep breaking off, they're fragile, they're brittle, they chipped, um, it's because they're not eating correctly. Um, your body needs a certain amount of fat. And I know people don't like to talk about fat, but fat is, some, is a part of what goes to your nails and your hair. Um, I don't mean like junk food fat, but just so you need healthy fats for your hair and for your nails. Um, and for your skin, actually. So, um, that's it. Now, you can take vitamins. And what I want you to know about that is that vitamins do work. Um, there are all kinds of hair vitamins out on the market. Um, ones that I've heard really good things about are um, Viviscal. I've heard that Viviscal is really good. And there's, um, um, you can just buy Pure Biotin. Biotin. I don't know why I just said biotin. I was about a commercial. But you can buy pure biotin um, at any grocery store. Um, you can go to Vitamin World or GNC and get their brands or some high-end brands. It's up to you. Biotin is biotin. But um, that will also make your hair grow. Um, but here's the thing, you guys. Those vitamins cannot just go to your hair and make your hair grow on your head. They're going to go to all your hair. So if you have hair on your upper lip, like I do, it's going to get fuller. If you have hair on your arms, like I do, it's going to get a little bit longer maybe. It may be a little bit thicker. Hair everywhere is going to grow. So if you want to get those vitamins, you definitely can. But you just want to make sure that you're okay with hair growing everywhere. Okay, so that's it. Um, I've spoken enough and I'm going to stop talking now, but I just wanted guys to give you some little reminders of how to help your hair grow and the important part of retaining length. And with that, I'm going to stop talking, so guess what? <laughs> I'll holler! Bye, you guys.